بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از آسن اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو فکس دس پیج از ناٹ ورکنگ دس ویب سائٹ از کرنٹلی ان ایبل ٹو ہینڈل دس ریکویسٹ بفور اسٹارٹنگ ورک اٹس مائی ریکویسٹ پلیز سبسکرائب مائی چینل تھینک یو نو بیک ٹو آر ورک سو دیر آر ملٹیپل وے ٹو فکس دس ایشو ان ورڈ پریس سو یو کین ڈی ایکٹیویٹ پلگ ان اور تھیم فولڈر فرام ہوسٹنگ یو کین ڈیلیٹ ڈاٹ ایس ٹی ایکسیس فائل You can increase memory limit in wp-config.php file. Also, you can remove browser cache to fix this issue. So, there are multiple ways to fix this issue. Now, we are going to hosting. And now, you see .htaccess file. So, right click on it. Then, click on delete. Now, click on confirm to delete .htaccess file. And if you want, you can take backup of .htaccess file first and then delete this file. Or, you can rename .htaccess file. Right click. and then you see rename and then add another name here and then click on confirm now you see message success item rename now go to website and refresh the page again now you see still error now go to hosting again now find wp-config.php file so this is file so right click on it and then click on edit so file is open now add code here now you see define WP memory limit to 56M. So now we are going to increase memory limit using config file. If you want, you can add 512M instead of 256M. Now click on save file. Now you see message success. So file is saved. Now go to website again and refresh the page. Now you see still error. Now close config file. Now go to WP content folder. Now you see theme folder, so right click on it and then we rename this folder. Now you see name folder change and then click on confirm. Now you see success message item rename. Now go to website and refresh the page again. Still error show. Now again go to hosting and rename theme folder again and then click on confirm. Now you see plugin folder, so right click on it and then click on rename and then click on confirm. Now you see success message item rename. Now go to website and refresh the page. Now you see our website is working now. We deactivate plugin folder from hosting. Now go to dashboard and then you see all plugin is deactivate. So issue with plugin. Now in all plugin section you see all plugin deactivate and not show. Now go to hosting and rename plugin folder again and click on confirm. Now you see success item rename. Now go to website again and refresh the page. Now you see plugin. So you can activate plugin one by one to check which plugin cause error. So there are multiple ways to fix this issue. So if no solution work, then you can replace your WordPress core file. You can replace WP admin folder, WP include folder and other files. Don't replace WP content folder and WP config.php file. So you can remove browser cache. You can deactivate plugin, folder, theme folder. You can increase memory limit. You can delete .htaccess file to fix this issue. Or you can replace your WordPress core file. Don't replace WP content folder and WP config.php file. So I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching.